Hey yo, my planet coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. Today we have a legendary mega park. This is a submission suggestion sent in by one of our Discord Ruby patrons, Crimson ID4. And yes, that is right. We do take suggestions, and we are featuring all the patrons in the coming days here. So Crimson ID is a patron supports the show may not create anything but they are welcome to suggest something so they have picked out atlantis for us here today and uh here they say hi johnny hope you're doing well i've always loved your channel and have decided to dive in and become a patron for the first time i've always enjoyed your show and boy did i dearly miss you in your reviews when you were gone cue the sad short circuit 2 theme <laughs> you know the one <laughs> Aww. uh but since you've been back i've wanted to show my support and dedication to you and the work that you do in a huge way and now i can also if i may give a huge shout out to my euro youtuber brillaby who is able to fill the void of the enjoyable planet poster park coaster reviews while you are gone if i couldn't under if even if i couldn't understand the dutch <laughs> all right shout out to brillaby everybody anyways this creation is called new atlantis and is one of the best looking parks i've ever seen the design and detail of the park reminds me of the work of silver Rep and showcased on your channel before the creator is apex ghost posted on his workshop that he has not finished it yet but honestly i don't know what else you can do it seems pretty complete to me and uh spectacular <laughs> anyways i hope you enjoy this park and that your system can run it please keep the up the outstanding work that you and your crew continue to do ah thank you so much that is very sweet and thank you for the tremendous support crimson id i truly appreciate it and uh let's pay some respects to the creator jump over to apex ghost workshop the links will always be in the description below and uh from the looks of their workshop they only have a couple things so they are very new to planet coaster or they've just been working on this for the last four years <laughs> from the looks of things and here they say welcome to atlantis this park features cascading waterfalls atlantean adventure themed buildings and a unique landscape guests can queue two trains one boat with four stations, a chairlift at the heart of the mountain can access many areas of the park. There's no shortage of coasters, rides, surprises to discover in New Atlantis. This park features the Atlantis-style palace created by Christine that sits at the, the Mount Atlas and surrounded by the waterfalls. Atlas, the coaster, is also stationed at Mount Atlas. This coaster dives down from the depths of the Kraken's lair, loops around the falls of Mount, La of Mount Atlas. This park needs the following items to reach its full potential. <laughs> and he lists a couple flat rides and a dolphin, a sea turtle, and some quartz. So uh, it, apparently it's a work in progress, but it looks very complete to me. And there's honestly no room for improvement here because the game can't handle anymore. And you guys will find out in just a second. So stay tuned and let's dive right on into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Hope you're all doing wonderful. Uh, if the creator ends up watching this, note to uh, <laughs> what you've done here. It took me 45 minutes or something to kick out the 8,000 guests that were in this park, and it was causing some major issues. Even with the guests out, I mean, 500 of them don't seem to refuse to get out. We're still getting like 8 FPS, 7 FPS, 6 FPS. It is one of the worst running parks I've ever seen, and that's why I say I don't think you can actually fit any more details in here before you cause a nuclear explosion. We're going to have to run this on pause mode, other than the rides, and the rides are going to frame tear a little bit, but we're going to do our best because this park looks absolutely incredible. Atlantis, it, you know, at time to time, we got to throw in a mega park. I know you guys love it. I know some of you guys hate it because of the frame rate, but let's just take a second to appreciate these creators' work. Even if it's a slideshow, we can stop and just look around and still, you know, gawk in the wonder that is created here. Uh, it's really quite breathtaking. So, you know, don't mind the FPS here today. Don't mind the pause mode. It is what it is. If you want to experience something that's never been seen before, never been done before, something extraordinary and just megalithic in legendary status, that is what we're going to be looking at here today with Atlantis. This is just incredible. It's breathtaking. Now, I'm, I'm going to try to not make this a two-hour episode, and it does go slower when the frames are dropping. 
Uh, so we might have to go through things a little bit faster than we would like. And, you know, like I said, guys, I'm just getting back into the rhythm of getting you guys content again. I'm very busy around the house trying to sell the place and all that. We have an upcoming coaster contest and there's just a lot of stuff going on as well as the uh, second channel, the Twitch stream. So if you guys want to support us further in a free monetary free way, uh, come subscribe to our second channel. Links are down in the description below as well as our Twitch stream. Come follow us over there. We're doing plenty of coaster content on the Twitch stream and some big surprises in store for you guys once I get settled into my new place whenever that happens. And then you can catch some uh, variety games if you want to see some Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We got Biomutant coming up. All sorts of great stuff. It's going to be a good time. So appreciate your guys' support. Uh, there's other places to check us out from now on. So enough with the plugs. Let's continue on with this beautiful park. Uh, it looks like it has a lot in store for us, and I want to definitely at least try to ride majority of the rides, if not all of them. Uh, it's one of these ones where, you know, we might miss something here today. We're going to have to skip on the flat rides. Like I said, we're in pause mode. This is more like a, uh, a let's look. <laughs> I know we try to thoroughly cover parks as best as we can, and I'm going to try to do that here today. But uh, because this is a suggestion creation, the creator, you know, hadn't submitted themselves, all that stuff. Um, we we want to both pay tribute to it and appreciate it, but also uh, give some time and room for our wonderful community creators who are subscribed in, in the Discord and submitting their own creations. And uh, that means I'm going to have to make time for all those as well. Um, so... My, my point is, I don't want to spend three hours in this park today, even though I think you easily could. So, links are in the description if you want to download this for yourself and take a closer look at some of these things. But we're gonna we're gonna do a walk around, um, see see what this is all about, see some of these incredible views, and then uh, I might have to, you know, instead of going from ride to ride based off of the footwalk, we might have to do a little bit of jumping around. Looks like there's a coaster over here. I want to try to stay as traditional as possible. Wow. I like the hammer swing with a coaster going through it that's elevated by pillars. This looks all so freaking incredible. But yeah, I want to try to approach some coasters in the traditional sense where we walk through the park, we explore the park, and then we get on a ride. Ooh, what's down here? Uh, ooh, a nice circular themed sitting area and food court. This is spectacular. I love that park entrance. <laughs> Holy crap. It's one of the most beautiful park entrances I have ever seen in Planet Coaster history. It looks like this creator has spent the uh, entire four years of since Planet Coaster has been released working on this. Uh, I, I don't know for certain. We don't know. They, they didn't say anything on their Steam page about time and duration spent on, on the game. But uh, I can only imagine it's been an incredible amount of time. So, yeah. Uh, there's a queue that wraps back here. And it takes us up to our first coaster of the day. Now, hopefully it runs half decently. So we, what do we have here? Expedition Atlantis, a Copperhead launched coaster. There's a look at all the stats if you want to see them. It's a long one. Look at the game chug as soon as we go into play mode. It's a bit sad. Uh, I think we're gonna do a track view on this guy, but hats off to the creator for managing to fit this much into the game, staying sane. Well, we don't know if there's totally sane after this for we, can, we cannot verify but here we go oh tried to slow it down and i don't know if it's working okay we are at normal speed i hope you enjoy
boy, oh boy, oh boy, that is rough, as you guys can see here. Um, I think what I'm going to do, hopefully what you guys will end up seeing in the end result is a two times speed ride. Because if I speed it up by two times, it's not going to be 5 FPS anymore. It's going to be like 10. That might make it a little bit more bearable and it'll turn down the choppiness and make it somewhat more smooth. So if the coaster seems to be moving a little bit fast or at strange rates, it's because I sped it up in post and decided that that was the better way to experience the ride. Now, some of you guys might go, well, why not just cheat engine it? Well, uh, I don't know if some of you guys understand the process of Cheat Engine and how, uh, how how time diligent you have to be, but you can spend up to one hour getting a coaster experience, like a two-minute coaster experience, uh, done right in Cheat Engine. You have to record it at negative 400 speed, and then you have to speed it up, and then you have to uh, get the sounds of the coaster recorded separately, and then you have to match them the whole way through and edit the sound because they will desync. And yeah, you could spend up to easily an hour per coaster and there's probably a dozen or so i just don't have a 12 hour day to dedicate to this one park however if the creator of this park ends up watching this you are more than welcome to send us your povs uh cheat engine i, I couldn't seem to find a youtube channel for them or anything of that nature so if they end up doing a cheat engine video we can we can do a little marathon uh showcasing all your coaster creations in one video at 60 fps i'm more than willing to edit that together but uh, for anyone that's doing these mega parks, if you do uh, submit it, please do try to provide 60 FPS videos of your coasters so that we can watch them and, and edit them into the video to get the full experience. Uh, that definitely makes things a lot more manageable to really uh, enjoy the experience. So I'm loving this queue here with the, the white lining on this and, and the beautiful um, boarding station and pond and the, the nature work here. It's looking really good. So I'm wondering if I should be going coaster to coaster because I know some of like, if, if you guys saw, if I did speed it up um, to improve the coaster experience, hopefully that did help. But uh, what I experienced here at full time, real time, five FPS was really, really, really unbearable. Almost to a point where I don't want to ride the coasters. Um, that's a bit sad to say, it really makes me sad. Um, <laughs> because the it looks incredible. I'm hoping in post I can do a little little bit of magic and make it somewhat tolerable, somewhat. So from my impressions and what I'm 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 seeing here is that I'm I'm thinking we need to spend most of the time enjoying the views and vistas, enjoy the experience and all the theming and the rich work gone into this. Even these like columns, look at that, so much ornate detail. Uh, gone into just a little column. I mean, how many pieces is this? Like a hundred objects right there. Yeah, you can see a lot of love and care went into all this, making it really have that Atlantis vibe. It's just stunning. So there are some little unfinished areas here and there that we've seen a few, and they did say this is a work in progress, so I, I don't want to, you know, uh, there's no critique or anything from me. There's no pointing things out, uh, no saying you can improve this or that, because it is a suggestion. Uh, I only give feedback when it is asked for, and generally that's why people submit their own creations to the show. Either they want a full showcase, they want me to ooh and awe over their amazing creation, or they're looking for a little bit of feedback. But in terms of a suggestion, uh, we're just checking it out. And boy oh boy, is it still a treat. Very cool. We have this whole underground city in the Mount Olympus, or I guess they're calling it Mount Atlas. Um, chair lifts, a big ride in the center. We have a, a chair lift going all the way up to the top. Uh, you definitely have to skip over the river rapids because uh, the way it spins and the nature of it, it's going to be very difficult to record. And I don't think there's anything I can do in terms of editing to improve the quality. Oh, this is phenomenal. It really is. And it just goes to show what you can do in Planet Coaster. It's just out of this world insane. Uh, it's just people keep pushing this engine beyond its own limits. And that to me is very, very impressive because this should technically not be possible. Uh, it's, it's, it's impressive on Frontier's half that you can put so many 
pieces into the game without actually just corrupting the save file and causing it to crash every two minutes. <laughs> All that happens is you get a frame dip. Um, I've seen other games where you just get to a certain point and it just becomes unstable. So even though we're seeing a bit of a frame drop, uh, the game is still stable as, as ever. So uh, hats off to Frontier as well for at least you know, if, if, if that's what people like, if that's what the their interest is, to just see how much they can do and really push themselves, it's still really good screenshot-worthy creations and just beautiful um, compositions. Look at this. This is sensational. Wow. Really love what you did with this garden. Almost looks like there's something in there. No. Wow. This is super cozy back here. I love it. Wow. Really phenomenal. Okay. I, I'm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around the whole park and just get a good, a pretty good Passover of everything. And then uh, we'll just go to the ride list and just crank out rides. Because I think it's going to take a little bit of fiddling on the post-production side. <clears throat> and I don't want to have to fiddle with that in between. Like every time I get to a coaster, I'm going to have to fiddle with it, right? So I'd rather just do all of that at the very end in terms of editing. So let's just like walk around and enjoy everything that we're looking at. And maybe some of you guys can't handle the low FPS rides. so And you just want to see the park. So we'll give you that full tour here. And then if anyone's still interested in riding all the rides, regardless of frame rate, just stick to the end and um, we'll watch them all at once. But I really like the intricacy of all this. Um, you know, the coasters in the sky being held up by these supports and giant mountains and floating islands. It looks really fantastic. Like, look at that. You just don't see this kind of stuff in Planet Coaster Parks. It's just incredible. Very unique building styles. It's all to the theme of Atlantis. I like it a lot. The bridge work looks phenomenal. The lighting that's coming in looks really nice too. It really highlights what's happening here. Got a nice dive coaster there. Some floating islands like the color choices of everything, the color palette uh, of the rides. Even have a log flume of rapids going underneath just for aesthetics. I feel like I recognize this coaster. I've, I've, I feel like we spotlight something very similar to this in the past. I like the uh, terraforming that you did here with the Tentifu, <laughs> the squid arms. And they all wrap up to this nice little garden on the on the very edge. The hedge work around the pathways. It's very clean. Super impressive. And everything is on stilts too. That's a lot of patience getting all this down. Even the seaweed. Things are overgrown. There's just so much attention to detail. Nothing was left out. This is just... <sighs> Eye candy. My goodness. Look at that. Beautiful centerpieces everywhere and all the little nooks and crannies. I like the blue walkways too. It gives that, that ocean feel. It's a good choice. Very, very cool. Oddly enough, I think we <clears throat> somehow wrapped our way all the way around. It's very open and spread out, but I also like that because it creates like a a really cool Atlantic vibe. There's some like little... Okay, we did go in there. I like this little gazebo sticking out the end. It's quite fun. Little hidden areas back here. Damn. I really wish I could ride all these coasters at 60 FPS. <laughs> oh my god. 
Uh, part of me is wishing I had the time to do the cheat engine for this, but it's not feasible right now. Not right now. So this is the very Mount, the top, the Mount Olympus. Whoa. And they said something about um, Christine creating the, the the building here. Yeah, Christine. I'm wondering if that's the Christine that I think it is from our community. That's stunning. And look at this. All the lights, the smog, uh, the colors. Creating a really rich underwater kind of vibe. Very vibrant. Oh, that is beautiful. I definitely want to take a peek at all this at night, too, because look at all these lights. This is really gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, there's the last 500 guests. I closed everything down, so I thought it would have kicked them out. Hmm. Let's take a peek at this at night. Oh. Wow. Look at that. Wow, look at this, the uh, park entrance here. <laughs> that is one of the most incredible builds I've ever seen. Damn. I wonder how many pieces this is. That little chunk right there is like a thousand. <laughs> so if I were to guess, it's uh, well over... It's probably up like 20,000 pieces with the towers in the front. That's the side, That's the, the same amount of park count that we have seen in just some parks. Wow. Love the way the bridges light up. There it is. Flip it back to day. I'm actually quite um, surprised at how quickly I walked around the whole park, but that is because of the nature of things. There's one big pathway leading down the whole thing, and then it takes you around and through the cave and back. It's kind of like a big loop. There's not a lot of like side nooks and crannies, and, and where there is, they're kind of a little bit unfinished. So I, I don't want to judge it being unfinished. I think this is incredible. You know, when you look at it from the outside here, it is a finished park. There's this little you know, tunnels and corridors that things that you shouldn't really be looking at that, uh, you know, aren't quite done. And honestly, I don't think you can smush another piece into here without causing a freaking aneurysm and a heart attack. <laughs> wow. Look at this. I try to take a look at everything that I can. Hopefully, uh, I did a decent job of it. Visually, it's just out of this world, out of this freaking world. All right. So, I'm going to uh, try to ride some of these coasters and most likely speed them up by two times in post. Whether that is uh, something you guys enjoy or not, we're going to do our best to ride them. So we're going to start with this one here, Ascension. Again, I feel like I've ridden this coaster before on some something else. Um, I feel like I've seen this. So it, it looks like it's an X Dimension coaster. Yeah, it is. So 4D experience. Uh, that's going to be even more rough on the frames. Let's go. Wait a second, did it not close down? Test mode, seat view. Yeah, we definitely have to do seat view on this guy because it's a uh, 4D. Let's go.
Boom! Good googly moogly. Oh man, yeah, I definitely feel like I've seen this coaster before or something very similar. I wonder if they uh, modified it from the workshop. We definitely saw a spotlight like this from a very, very long time ago. But it could be original. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. So I'm just going to start clicking coasters and hitting ride. And uh, Lost Expedition of Atlantis. And what do we have here? It is a giant inverted boomerang. Cool. Let's check it out. Wow, we're inside of a rock. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Well, that one's a little bit rough. I think I was dropping down to three frames per second on that one. Sometimes even one. This is really the most heavily themed park I've ever had to open up on my rig. And I do see comments time to time. Johnny, why don't you just get a better computer? Uh, guys, it's not my computer. I have a top of the line computer. Trust me, you can't really... The only thing I can improve on is my graphics card, but right now, if you could see a snapshot of my GPU, it's only at 20% load. CPU's at 20%. RAM's at 40%, but I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. So, I mean, it is using a lot of my RAM. But yeah, so, I mean, my my computer is um, really, really good. It's the, the game engine that's struggling here. I'm going to pause it again. So, I think we went on this coaster. Is that the same as that one yes it is is this a different one than the boomerang that's the wing launch cloud runner let's check this guy out and off we go
wow. That is absolutely crazy. I think the uh, the tracks here are for the mine train. What's this one here? Yeah, the express. Same with this one. Oh boy, I'm having a hard time. Let's go back on pause mode. <laughs> I can immediately feel it speed up. Uh, yeah, so I, I think I was saying this in the beginning and I, I I don't know if I actually finished my thought, but I was saying to the creator that I opened this up and there was 9,000 guests and I spent 45 minutes kicking them all out. Should have seen how this, if you think this is running bad now, <laughs> Uh, you should have seen what it was like when I opened it up and some people have reported like if the park is too big and there's too many guests It just crashes their PC like they can't even load it So, you know if, if the creator wants to have people look at this uh, You know wait wait it out and get the park open and have a poke around like we are here um, it, The only way that's gonna really be possible for a majority of the people is if the guests are kicked out before the file is saved so uh, something to consider there for sure uh, as you can see here like when you go to play mode it's it's all the simulation stuff like the waterfalls the coasters moving the the guests uh you know all that stuff coming together is what's really killing the frame rate so the pause mode does give you like a boost it doubles your frames it feels a lot smoother already on pause mode unfortunately you cannot ride the coasters on pause mode that is the big downside so i mean hopefully those coaster povs turned out it looked horrible on my end but the visuals were nice so i think maybe speeding it up might help i i don't know i'm gonna have to determine that in post um um, it made for a uh, not so enjoyable experience, but I got to tell you, even though I didn't enjoy the frames and it was a bit of a slideshow, it was still impressive to me seeing what we saw, like the eye candy, the visuals, the, the shots, um, the experiences were there. I was still, I'm still happy to be able to open this up and look at all of this. Like this is one of the most incredible builds I've ever seen with uh, just insane park count. I mean, it's tugging on the FPS worse than anything I've ever experienced. And uh, that's impressive to me. That's impressive that this creator was able to pull all this off and um you know see it through so big shout out to apex ghost on this amazing creation Fr frame frame rates aside what did you guys think of this build and and the pieces and the layout the composition love to hear your thoughts down below and finally i want to give another shout out to crimson id4 our ruby patron who suggested that i look at this park i uh, really appreciate your support so i was happy to be able to take a look at this and i definitely enjoyed this one here today in terms of the eye candy and pure astonishing amount of art so a very fun suggestion so thank you for that and thank you for your support really do appreciate it if you guys want to uh, support the show in any way or get to the front of the line get priority spotlights uh patreon links are down in the description below appreciate everybody's support and as i mentioned earlier you can always come check us out on twitch.tv slash channel 5 gaming or our second channel channel 5 live where all the vods go up um your support there is also greatly appreciated and it's all free so there you guys go that's gonna wrap it up for this episode here today new atlantis love to hear your guys' thoughts and thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you all in the next episode bye now